I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted. And today we're gonna to be doing a quick video on how to put together or putting together the ratios for the Dream Vessels Mood Mojo car diffusers. Now I just got these in the other day and I wanted to put together a quick video to show you exactly how to put these to, uh, together and just go over a few things that you need to consider when you're gonna make these. Now the Mood Mojo comes in three different colors, black, silver, and gold. They're actually really nice. And basically what it is is just a, a almost like an air freshener or incense that you hang from anywhere. A lot of people are gonna put these, of course, in their car, but you can hang them in the at, in your desk or in a bathroom, uh, pretty much anywhere just to throw off a little bit of a scent for you. Now, these car diffusers are actually a cool little thing to have alongside your candles at a market or on the website or anything like that. A lot of people like to have that scent, but they don't wanna burn candles. Now, these car diffusers come 12 in a box and they're about $15 for 12 of them. So it's actually not too bad. Along with shipping, they've, they're probably gonna run you about $1.76, I think is what I calculated. And of course, you can get better prices on that if you order more along with shipping. So uh, you can drop that down from $1.76 and get a little bit better profit margin out of these. They hold right around 0.27 ounces of reed diffuser base and fragrance oil. So your total cost on these is gonna be, I haven't figured it out completely, but it's definitely less than about $2.50 per car diffuser and then uh, the price on these you could easily sell these for eight to ten you could probably get a little bit more depending on the area or the markets that you're in uh, i wouldn't go less than six dollars on these you just there's no need to do that you can definitely sell these for eight to ten very easily and with a cost of less than two dollars and fifty cents per diffuser you're actually looking at a pretty good profit for something like this all right so we're going to go ahead and get started right here and i'm going to go over exactly what we're going to be using for the, uh, the Mood Mojo car diffusers from Dream Vessels. So we've got a package of these. We're gonna be using Candle Science, Reed Diffuser Base, and then I'm gonna be using uh, Pink Sugar from Nature's Garden. Now, when you're choosing your fragrance oil for these diffusers, you wanna make sure that you get one that can be used with a Reed Diffuser Base. There are a lot of fragrance oils that just will not mix with this. So you definitely wanna make sure, and most websites, Nature's Garden, Candle Science, or anything like that, they usually say, uh, whether or not the fragrance oil is good for soaps, candles, diffusers, incense, things like that. And then I picked up, I believe I got this at the dollar store, and I'm gonna use this to mix because the hole that's in the top of this is actually pretty small, and I don't know that I have a funnel. So we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. So once we get that filled up, that'll fit perfectly inside there so that I can fill that and not spill everywhere. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and zero this thing out. I'm gonna get this going. And the ratio that we're gonna be using, now for the rediffuser bases, you can use anywhere from 25% to 50% oil. So you're gonna be looking at a three to one or two to, or one to one mixture of base to oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this one like right in the middle. So I'm gonna actually do a two to one. So about 33% fragrance oil to about 66% Reed diffuser base. So we're gonna go ahead and zero this thing out. And then I'm just gonna add right around two ounces. And that's right at two ounces exactly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add one ounce of the pink sugar fragrance. just a touch, but yeah, three ounces exactly. We'll mix that up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of these out. And you'll notice in the packages that it does come with everything inside of it and the plastic stopper. Now the plastic stopper, you wanna make sure that once you fill these, you put that plastic stopper back into the top of that. That way when these are sitting on the shelf or you're, you're at a market or something like that and you're selling these, the fragrance isn't just coming out of it because it does have a wood top, uh, which is gonna draw the oil out of that. And of course, soak it up and that's what throws off the scent. So we'll go ahead and set a couple of these to the side. And I'm not exactly sure how much goes into each of these. So we're just gonna fill a few of them. 
until we run out of oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Just let that fill. That thing actually worked perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place the stopper back into that. Put the top back on there. And that's it, that thing is pretty much ready to go. Go ahead and fill the rest of these. fill that one quite as much. Give it a little bit of breathing room in there so that you can put the plug in there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a very nice little product. Uh, they seem to be selling extremely well on uh, a lot of people's pages. I see a lot of people on uh, the various Facebook groups, including the Dream Vessels group, selling a lot of these. I just got these in, so I haven't had a chance to even put these on the website or at a market or anything, but I have had some requests for these, so I think these are gonna do really well. The only other thing I wanted to say on these is, Coming up with the right fragrance ratio, you're gonna to wanna, to, basically you're gonna to want to do a lot of testing. So a lighter fragrance like some of the florals, like lemon scents or something like that, you might wanna run closer to the 50-50 ratio. That way you actually get a good scent from these. Something that has a really strong fragrance like a vanilla or a cinnamon, you're probably gonna to to run closer to the 25% because it's not gonna take as much oil because it is a thicker and stronger smelling oil and you won't have to mix it as much to get that strong scent. Now, as you can see from the video, these things are extremely easy to put together and not a lot of oil goes into these. So you can actually spread that oil pretty thin across these. So if you ordered, I believe it came down to 0.27 ounces. So basically one ounce will fill four of these. Uh, I mixed three ounces, which will fill all 12, but I'm not gonna put the same fragrance in all 12 of these that I just got in. So again, just a very quick and easy video. These things are extremely easy to put together. They're very nice. They look really good. Uh, they're easy sellers. A lot of people like to hang these in the office or the car, so you shouldn't have any problem selling these on, on a website or at the market. And as always, I've included the link to these down below. So if you wanna jump over there to dreamvessels.com, check these out. They're actually a very nice addition along with the candles or anything else that you're gonna sell. So I hope I covered everything on those. If you do have any questions on the car diffusers, please jump over to the Dream Vessels Facebook group. They answer a lot of questions there. I know Natalie is in there uh, answering questions and uh, a lot of people in there have already started making these. So you can get a lot of answers and uh, some kind of helpful tips along with these from that group. I've got a link to her group down below. I've also got a link to the Facebook group that uh, we created. Uh, you can jump over and jump in that one as well. A lot of people in there have been making these and have a lot of good tips on them. And as always, you can get in touch with me through uh, all the links down below, uh, the email address, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, the, uh, the comments down below, of course. I try to go through and answer every single one of them. So if I miss something or if I glossed over something or you wanna know something more about the car diffusers, please ask in the comments down below. I'll try to go back through and answer all of those. And as always, thank you for watching.